Hay fever season is one of the few bad things about summer, and to serious hay fever sufferers, it's, well, it's annoying. Benadryl wanted a way to engage and help sufferers. We noticed that the spread of pollen is not just limited to nature, it's also social. Mentions of people suffering from hay fever on different social networks soar in the March and May hay fever season. If we make products designed to act fast and to combat symptoms of hay fever, then why not create a service that does the same? Using all the mentions in the digital space for something local, something live, something that helps in the same way as our medicine does. Say hello to the Social Pollen Count, a service that uses official Met Office data, along with live information from localised Twitter conversations, and allows sufferers the opportunity to share problem areas by posting bespoke alerts directly to the pollen map, letting you not only avoid potentially hazardous areas, but find places nearby where you can buy Benadryl and all accessible from that shiny smart thing in your pocket. And even if you've not got a smartphone, you can keep aware of the pollen count at digital poster sites, which act like pollen signposts for the areas they're in. Their animated displays show a map of the local area and current pollen levels using the same official data that the mobile app does. So you'll know that looming feeling of itchy eyes and sniffly nose is down to the very high pollen count in wherever you happen to be. And you should either take something to stop it getting the better of you, or simply get out of there. Last summer, the social pollen count helped hundreds and thousands of people in the UK show pollen who's boss. Because what's smarter than a medicine you don't have to take?